Good day, grade 12 students. Welcome to first learning episode of Practical Research 2, Quantitative Research and Its Nature. I am Ms. Maria Monica Angeles, your PR2 teacher for this semester. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe the characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kinds of quantitative research design. In exploring quantitative research, let us have first its foundation by having its definition. Quantitative research is an objective, systematic, and empirical investigation of observable phenomena through the use of computational techniques. I want your class to highlight on the terminology empirical as well as computational. It highlights numerical analysis, hoping that numbers yield unbiased results that can be generalized to some larger population and explain a particular observation. Simply, when we are pertaining to quantitative research design, it is basically concerned with numbers and its relationships with events. Characteristics of quantitative research, or simply QNR, include the following. Number one, objective. Next, clearly defined research questions. Three, structured instruments. Four, numerical data. Five, large sample sizes. And lastly, replication. Let us discuss each of the characteristics one by one. First quantitative research characteristic, objective. Quantitative research seeks accurate measurement and analysis of target concepts. It is not based on mere intuitions and guesses. Data are gathered before proposing a conclusion or a solution to a problem. Next characteristic, clearly defined research questions. In quantitative research, the researchers know in advance what they are looking for. The research questions are well defined for which objective answers are sought. All aspects of the study are carefully designed before the data are gathered. Third quantitative research characteristic, structured research instruments. Data are normally gathered using structured research tools such as questionnaires to collect measurable characteristics of population like age, socioeconomic status, and number of children among others. Fourth, numerical data. Data are in the form of numbers and statistics, often organized and presented using tables, charts, graphs, and figures that consolidate large numbers of data to show trends, relationships, or difference among variables. Next, large sample sizes. To arrive at a more reliable data analysis, a normal population distribution curve is preferred. This requires a large sample size, depending on how the characteristic of the population vary. Random sampling is recommended in determining the sample size to avoid researchers' bias in interpreting the results. Sixth QNR characteristic, replication. This means that reliable quantitative studies can be repeated to verify or confirm the correctness of the results in another setting. This also strengthens the validity of the findings, thus eliminating the possibility of spurious conclusions. And lastly, future outcomes. By using complex mathematical calculations and with the aid of computers, if-then scenarios may be formulated, thus predicting future results. Now let us proceed with the strengths of quantitative research. First, it is objective. Since it provides numerical data, it cannot be easily misinterpreted. Second, uses statistical techniques. The use of statistical techniques facilitates sophisticated analysis and allows you to comprehend a huge amount of vital characteristics of data. Third, numerical data itself. The numerical data can be analyzed in a quick and 
easy way by employing statistical valid random models findings can be generalized to the population about which information is necessary and the last one quantitative research is replicable standardized approaches allow the study to be replicated in different areas or over time with formulations of comparable findings Now, how about the weaknesses or the downsides of quantitative research design? First, quantitative research requires large number of respondents. It is assumed that the larger the sample is, the more statistically accurate the findings are. Secondly, it is costly. Since there are more respondents compared to qualitative research, the expenses will be greater in reaching out these people and, of course, in reproducing your own respective questionnaires. Thirdly, contextual factors are ignored. It does not consider the distinct capacity of the respondents to share and elaborate further information, unlike qualitative research. Fourth one, some information types are difficult to gather using structured research instruments. Some examples of these issues are premarital sex, domestic violence, and the like. And lastly, data from questionnaires may be incomplete and inaccurate. If not done seriously and correctly, data from questionnaires may be incomplete and inaccurate. Researchers must be on the lookout on respondents who are just guessing and answering your instruments. And lastly for this session, kinds of quantitative research. First in the list is descriptive research. It is basically concerned with describing the nature, characteristics, and components of the population or a phenomenon. Second is correlation research. It is a systematic investigation of the nature of relationships or associations between and among variables. Third is evaluation research. It aims to assess the effects impacts or outcomes of practices, policies, or programs. Fourth is survey research. It gathers information from groups of people by selecting and studying samples chosen from a population. Next is causal comparative research. It is also known as ex post facto or literally means after the fact research. This kind of research derives conclusion from observations and manifestations that already occurred in the past and now compared to some dependent variables. And lastly, experimental research. It utilizes scientific method to test a cause-effect relationships under conditions controlled by the researcher. To sum up today's session, quantitative research is an objective, systematic, and empirical investigation of observable phenomena through the use of computational techniques. Characteristics of quantitative research include objective, clearly defined research questions, structured instruments, numerical data, large sample sizes, and replication. Strengths include objective, uses statistical techniques, numerical data, and replicable. On the other hand, weaknesses requires large number of respondents, costly, contextual factors being ignored, some information types are difficult to gather using structured research instruments, and data from questionnaires may be incomplete and inaccurate. And lastly, the kinds of quantitative research are descriptive research, correlational research, evaluation research, survey research, causal comparative research, and experimental research. That's it for today's video. Check your Google Classroom and batch GCs for